fellow carbon-based bipeds. I am Scott Rose, and you are watching Explosions and Stuff. Today, I'll be reviewing the 2017 film Checkpoint, starring Kenny Johnson, Bill Goldberg, William Forsyth, and Mindy Robinson. But first, a word from our sponsors. overview of the movie? A homeless man discovers a homegrown terrorist plot in a small town, but when he tries to report it, no one believes him. After digging into it a little deeper, some of the people discover the truth and they band together to save the country. However, it's not certain that they will be enough to stop the plot. The pros of this movie? Well, let's be honest, I really enjoyed this story. This movie has a really good story. The plot of this movie. How is this homegrown terrorist plot coming to try and take over the country, trying to overthrow the White House, and you've got these local homegrown people trying to band together and fight back in this little small town America place. They did a fantastic job with that. That is a fun and engaging story, and one you don't see very often. And it's so much fun and so enjoyable to see new, fresh, and original stories in movies. I'm very happy about that. Also, this movie is well acted for what it is. This is a cheap, low-budget movie. With that in mind, the actors did a fantastic job. It was amazingly acted for what the movie is. I mean, none of these guys are going to win Oscars or anything. These aren't any award-winning performances from anybody in this. But for what the movie is, this movie was very well acted. The cons of this movie? Well, let's be honest. This movie really starts out slow. And by that, I mean the first scene of the movie is quite possibly the slowest and most boring fight scene I have ever seen in my life. It's obvious they aren't really hitting each other. It's just boring as hell and slow and drags out. And then you got like the first two-thirds of the movie, which is just people sitting there talking. Yeah, there's the occasional little blip of action here and the little snippet of action there, but come on. This movie is slow. It's got a very slow pace. I understand maybe they're trying to go for like this slow burn, slow boil type of thing for a movie, but they failed. It just seemed boring and they didn't understand pacing. I was just like, okay, come on, move on. When's something going to happen? I get it. These are characters. They're people. They have normal lives. They live in a small town where everybody knows everybody. You established that. You could have done that in five minutes. You don't need to do it in an hour. You don't need an hour to establish this is a small town people. You don't need that. You got five minutes at the beginning. Good to go. Also, to kind of tie in with it being slow, the action scenes in this movie were absolutely underwhelming. I mean, yeah, Goldberg's fight scenes that he'd had were fantastic. He did a great job. He's the reason I watched the movie in the first place. Everyone else in this movie, the fight scenes were just god-awful and boring. I have I don't think I have ever seen so many boring fight scenes in a movie. It just no maybe if they had sound effects that were better, it just would have worked better and the, like the gunfights don't even get me started on those. Seriously, those gunshots were quieter than the punches. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm no expert on firearms or anything, but I'm pretty sure that when you shoot a gun, it's going to be louder than when you punch someone in the face. I'm pretty sure there's more noise from a gun than a punch to the face. But in this movie, the punches were louder than the gunshots. Makes no damn sense. The gunshots were quiet, even though they had no silencers. It was just kind of muted down and... It was unbelievable, and it made the scenes where the gunshots boring. Like, you have these gun battles with quiet bullet shots, and you're like, okay, this is boring. Move along. Come on, hurry it up. Anyway, I'm done talking about the boring-ass action scenes. The thing that annoyed me most about this movie, Mindy Robinson. Let's be honest. She was in this movie 
for one reason and one reason only. Because somebody thought she would look good in a really tight, low-cut shirt. That's the only reason she's in this movie, is eye candy. She had no business being in the movie. Her character wasn't even necessary to the plot. Served no purpose whatsoever. Didn't You, you could have gotten rid of her completely and nothing would have changed. The movie wouldn't have been any different. Things would have happened exactly the same way as they did with her in the movie. All she really did was wear a really tight, low-cut shirt with a kind of her belly exposed, a BDU pants, and walk around carrying a big-ass gun. She fired that big-ass gun a time. She had two mediocre fight scenes, and one of them she shot somebody like three times. Other than that, she did nothing. She had no business being in the movie, and every fight scene, every action scene, every time she even walked around holding a gun looked awkward as hell. My overall thoughts on the movie? I can't remember a movie with so many gunfights being this boring. I have to give this one one thumb down. This movie had so much potential, it just seriously dropped the ball. It needed a bigger budget, more money spent on sound effects like gunshots, and more time in editing. I am so curious as to how much time in total was spent making this movie. In the end, I can't think of any reason for someone to watch Checkpoint, so I cannot recommend it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel for new action movie reviews posted every week and top 10 lists posted on the 10th of every month. Also, if you have any recommendations for things you would like me to cover in the future, please leave them in the comments below and follow us on Twitter at explosions underscore TV. Thank you and have a nice day.